<sighs> Hello YouTube, my name's TJ and welcome back to another video. Three words that you need to keep in mind. Don't. Get. Scared. One compilation, plus scary, plus probably disturbing, plus gives you goosebumps. That, my friends, is scary videos, compilations, reactions. And we're gonna do the best we can to not get scared. So, all you brave folk out there that never get scared once in your life, please do me a favor. If you really do enjoy this reaction video, make sure you like the video, subscribe to my channel. I appreciate your support and it'll help me out a huge bunch. And then be sure to comment down below if you have any suggestions on what should I react to next. Enjoy the video. Alright, here we go. Brave faces on, people. Let's do it. In the middle of the night, Danny Donahue woke up to a noise that came from his bathroom. Here's what he caught on camera. A uh, bathroom paranormal activity. Cabinets open. And all of your products has fallen off from your cabinet? <gasps> what the? Was that whispering? Inside that bathtub? The ghost is taking a shower. <laughs> You're invading its privacy. The ghost is taking a shower. Ah, uh, nothing. <gasps> the, the lights just shut off on its own. And you can't turn on the lights. Light bulb died. Probably. <laughs> Although obviously fake, it sure is pretty damn scary. But just imagine how terrifying it would be to encounter something like this in real life. Surely. I would move out. Move out. Save yourself. Get out of the house ASAP. Move somewhere else. Those who are faint-hearted would not even dare to imagine themselves in a situation like this. Yeah, but can you please show what that thing is? Sean Sh Ugh, Dude, what is that? Jesus! What is that? Long hair? Eyeballs that are creepy fingers? Hi. Oh my god, that thing up close gives me a heart attack. Sean Shutt and his friends were camping when, while sleeping inside a tent, they captured this. What oh, is that? Uh, I think I'm sleeping in the car tonight. Y'all gonna sleep in the car? Spirit guy has a switchblade. We're in the fucking we're in the woods. I'm in. <laughs> What's going on, dude? Are they hearing some sort of weird sounds and they're just laughing about it? Sleep in the night. <laughs> Dude, it's scary out, dude. And y'all are just laughing about it, making this as a joke. I hear footsteps. Are they gonna laugh about it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, laugh about it, man. You're just gonna ask for death. They're stacking Oreo cookies now. I'm not going. It sure is a mystery as to what was outside making those noises. One thing Dude, and they're just laughing about it. They think that this is a joke. Thing is for sure though. They're not gonna go camping ever again. Or at least at this spot. That's actually the one thing that I feel paranoid about, is that when I go out to camp, I'm always afraid that there's like some random stranger just walking outside my tent or trailer and then I just get so freaked out about it. Vivian Ispatia had recently lost her cat from being run over by a car. Oh. She was in total shock oh, after no. seeing her cat lying lifeless on the street. Oh. However, no. Oh, no, no, no. Poor cat. Oh, no. This wasn't as shocking as what she saw in the footage from the surveillance camera outside her home, which recorded the incident. Have a look at the footage and see if you notice anything unusual. I guess ghost cat. 
ghost cat? <gasps> Please tell me that's the ghost cat and not a real cat. Was that his spirit? It better be. Oh, that thing is fast. You see it? Look at this. Jesus. Is this real time? Not fast forward? Look how fast it is. Jeez. If Bibian claims that her cat was dead and killed upon impact from being hit by a car, then what was this? I don't know. Let me know what you think down below. Dude, this footage is in real time, right? Not fast forward. That well, thing is fast. Footage. Jeez, I'm sorry about your cat, though. I'd be traumatized if either one of my cats get run over. That's why I don't trust my cats to go outside, because... I don't want them to just run around outside, run around in the streets. Tiffany Lala sees something pretty creepy. <clears throat> Ghost child? Dude, dude, its body looks like it was transparent. The child you see in this footage is Tiffany's son. That's your son? The body looks transparent, looks like a ghost body. But she can't wrap her head around this footage as she doesn't know why her son looks semi-transparent. That's what I'm saying. Tiffany doesn't know what to make of this. However, many viewers have commented that her son might be astral projecting. Astral projection is the ability to have an out-of-body experience on command. The ability to induce an out-of-body experience allows one's consciousness or soul to travel outside of its physical body and explore the universe. Okay. Although very cool, Astral projecting could be dangerous. I mean, it's Those cool, but if it's dangerous, I'm not going to try this out. ...who've tried this have encountered unsettling things. From stories of people who've experienced unusual sensations, some of which have made people wake up in a cold sweat, to seeing things that are truly terrifying, it's probably best to do some research on knowing how to safely astral project before trying it out. I'm probably not going to do this. If there's like a risk of danger while trying to do this, I'm not going to do it. Whether or not Tiffany captured oh, Jesus. actual footage of her son astral projecting is up for debate. But we can all agree that the footage alone is pretty creepy. It is, yeah. Bets and Angel lives across from the woods and has been seeing something strange within them. Um, this is the area oh, where we see that figure. It just walks back and forth Figure. every day, all day. Now, I've been over there a couple of times um, as I walk up on it. There's just Is that him over there? There's nothing there. Um, yesterday I went, yesterday was Easter. I went over there, but two big dogs that were off leash came out and uh, it was time to go. Then we had the storm, so... As soon as we're done with our schoolwork, I will record myself going across the street and show you that as you walk over, you no longer see what appears to be a person pacing back and forth for just hours and hours and days. I think today. Hours and hours and days and days and days. What is he doing? Does he need to eat? Does he need to consume water? He needs to take care of himself. He does this all day and night. It's like day five. So. Day five. She's been seeing this figure for the past few days, and it's been doing the same thing each day, walking back and forth for hours on end. Bets and Angel has no idea as to what this person is doing. However, a few days later, she decides to head over to the woods to figure out what's going on. As she walks over with her husband, she records this. He's not there. All right, well, well here's the spot. I don't see anything. No, I don't either. No footprints it's or anything. Full. Hello? Is anybody there? Where are you, man? Why are you walking around back and forth for five I'm days? I'm so nervous. What was that? I mean, no. Do you need help? 
Oh, snap. <laughs> what is that? It sounds- is that, is that a scream? It's as though someone is yelling, run. This may have been directed Wait. to- Wait, let me hear that again. Is he saying run? I mean, I can't hear it, but maybe it is saying run. It sounds as though someone is yelling. It sounds run. more like a scream. This may have been directed towards her and her husband as a warning. Had they walked any further, this individual could have harmed them. It isn't clear as to whether or not she called the police. But one thing I'm sure of is that she'll definitely stay away from the spot. What's so important about this spot anyway to the ghosts or whoever this is? The following video was posted by Lovetown, whose dog has been acting very strange. Whenever uh, Lovetown's dog... You know, another sign that there's paranormal in your house? Your pets can sense the ghosts with ease. So if your pet is paying attention to one area in the room all day, then that means there's paranormal. Just sit there, just looking upwards, just confused paranormal he can't help but stare and sometimes growl at something that isn't there or the growl for no reason Luckily, yeah love town was or able to bark or meow depends on what pet you have uh, oh back away yeah something's in there gonna happen now what's gonna happen now I'm waiting while filming a video in the attic well I guess nothing what was the point of those last 10 seconds I was just staring just looking around that's about it no, nothing. Liliana encounters something pretty spooky. <laughs> I can't. What if it's a raccoon? Are what? they up in the attic and then they hear noises up here and then they assume it, it's a raccoon or a wild animal? She answering. She she's in there. I'm gonna be so mad. She's not in there. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Okay, you're screaming because of a door opening. All right. <laughs> Okay, calm so down. This is like a horror it's movie. It's probably your mom. She's just yeah. messing with us for a long amount of time. She scared the shit out of me. It's gonna open just up again. What? Is that door? <laughs> oh, uh, oh, just throw your laptop at it. Just throw your laptop at it. Look at this. Throw your laptop at it. Okay, I, I know it's scary, but they need to chill out. Literally. Like I shut it. Like I, it closes with the lock. So I, uh, I'm shaking. Mom, <laughs> Mom help us. Oh, in 1991, so scary. In it's frightening you both enough that you have to throw your laptop at it. Those two could be really great actresses in a horror movie, literally. With those screams and those actions when they get scared. When, after going further in, he finds what appears to be a doll carved out of wood. The wood dweller, the name given to this doll, was found resting atop a circular pinnacle of rocks. The sight of this doll was so unsettling that it caused the young man to run as fast as he can back to his car. However, on his way there, he stumbles upon a man dressed in black. The young deer hunter was at a loss for words, as the sight of this hooded figure dressed in black from head to toe was really frightening. He then mustered up the courage to ask this mysterious individual for directions that would lead him out of the woods. The hooded figure did not respond, but after I, a few I, seconds... Dude, I, I wouldn't trust talking to anybody wearing plain dark black hoods like this. The hooded figure points out a direction to which it. the young hunter starts heading over. He came I don't trust that. If they don't speak and then they just pouring in a direction when you ask them, where do you go? I don't trust that either. Out of the woods unharmed. But who knows what could have happened had he confronted the hooded individual or stayed in the woods a little longer. Ugh. In the following video, someone was playing video games when, all of a sudden, 
there's a faint knock outside their door. But what happens afterwards, after they open the door, is pretty creepy. There's um, on my door. Um, 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 uh, 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 whether I should be scared or not. Hey, ghost, okay. knock before you okay. enter. Okay. What if he's okay. changing? Okay. Hello? 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 Oh my god. Hello? Oh god. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. oh god. Oh. S swinging back and forth after it opened. There's nothing on the other side. Mac T's mom had Jesus. recently moved into a new house. However, she found something pretty creepy while moving in. <sighs> in the bathroom, there are some ducks that are painted on the wall. Mm. Although there's nothing odd about the painting of these ducks, it's what's hiding behind the paint that's creepy. In one of the ducks' eyes, again. there's a peeping hole that points straight to the toilet. Oh. Oh, it's even more. Oh, Creepy why? Is the fact that the person that lived here before his mom was an old lady that lived by herself. As always, what are your thoughts on this? Oh, so you got a peeping hole, and if you peek through it, you can see the old lady just sitting on the toilet. The just creepy old lady ghost just sitting on the toilet. Thanks for watching. Okay, I mean, it's creepy, disturbing, yeah. Okay, that's the end of this video. Yeah, it's scary, right? This whole video. Especially the beginning part. Holy jeez, that thing was so close. Uh, but the rest of it was really good. And I hope you never got scared at all. So, pat yourself on the back if you hadn't. But anyway, if you really do enjoy this video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more. I appreciate it. See you next video. Bye-bye.